This is my lattice plane called the Red for obvious reasons and it's using the dihedral arm and wing and tail section from the Red Sloper uh, just that I've built a new fuselage and added landing gear. The wheels are made from pool noodle foam and bottle tops just hot glued together. Here are the specs so hit pause if you want to read them. The day of the maiden was very windy and and it was starting to rain as well, but uh, nothing was going to stop me giving it a go. Not a good start. It eventually took off and was kicked around a lot in the turbulence, which meant it was very hard to uh, trim it out properly. But it was still flying okay. The rain started to get heavier, so I thought maybe it'd be better to leave it for another day. The Depron fuselage started off as a 70 by 100 millimeter uh, tube, 700 millimeters long, and I just cut slices out of the sides to shape the tail and the nose sections, and then just folded the top and bottom panels down and glued them in place. I also tapered the tail and the nose laterally by the same method. The rain eventually eased off and with the help of this passing doggy, uh, I gave it another go in a smaller park nearby. In the meantime the wind had increased, making takeoff a little bit difficult. But we got into the air eventually, and I started to realise that the dihedral wing wasn't helping in the turbulent conditions. The plane was being rolled aggressively by the side gusts. The next day was calmer, but I had it a little tail heavy, uh, which means I couldn't control it. So, another broken prop, another bent motor mount, and wait for another day. I had removed the dihedral from the wing for the next test day, which was even windier. Um, but the plane was a lot easier to fly with the flat wing, and in this uh, gusting up to 20 knot wind, uh, I could almost hold it still bit like slope soaring on the flat. Landing in the strong wind was fun because the plane would come in very very slowly almost backwards. But I was really happy with how controllable the plane was even in the strong conditions and even had enough confidence to catch it. Finally we got a calm clear day when I could put it through its spaces, trim it out properly and rip it around. With the large control surfaces I've got two inch full span ailerons uh, and a large elevator and a decent rudder. It turned out to be quite aerobatic. It gave me enough confidence to try some low-level inverted passes, which I've never done before. With the 1.5 metre glider wing, it takes quite a while to come down in calm weather, but you can always taxi at home. That left only one question, does it slope? And in the right conditions, yeah, no problems. And when the lift disappears, you can crank up the motor and start throwing the sticks around. And it's pretty good at landing in trees too.